Hey guys, so this is a quick tip, but it's really useful. Um, when uh, you're in Navisworks, you can grab items and you can change their colors by going um, by clicking the item and then clicking the. It's kind of like a temporary tab that shows up when you're um, when you've selected items. So select on that tab, and then uh, in in the appearance panel, um, you can expand this color palette, and then select you know for example red. You can see the color um, of that element get updated to red now, uh, and this is useful to know <laughs> because I've been in a situation where I could not figure out why the colors weren't updating. It's a really really simple thing. Um, so let's, for example, let's turn this off. So there's no overrides, uh, and this is what happens. So when I opened up the model, so in the viewpoint tab, if we come here and change this to full render, I was in the model, and it doesn't look that much different. I mean, I can't say that I switch it to full render very often, but it wasn't it wasn't something that I noticed. Uh, when I was in the model, I couldn't tell that it was rendered. It looked like the model would always, you know, look like it's this rendered view isn't really that um, uh, different from the typical view. So in this view, though, if you select on an element, you can go to items tools and then switch, you know, the appearance, but it doesn't actually change. So um, you can see it's updated. You can see this one is still, you know, the same color, but nothing's changing. Um, and that's simply because of the render style. That is it. So as soon as you go to that render style and you switch it back to shaded, you'll see it updates. Now, something that can tell you is the glass. The glass is quite a bit different, but if you don't have a lot of that in the building, it may not be something that you catch uh uh, quickly but just keep in mind if you're having trouble uh, changing the color just jump to your um, viewpoint tab switch this mode to shade it and it should update uh, another uh, thing to keep in mind is if you're using the AP so the appearance profiler which is right here which all it does is uh, through sets or through some type of property it'll it'll search for those elements um, and then apply a color to them Again, if it's set to rendered, you won't be able to see it. So if it's set to the mode is set to full render, you won't be able to see those updates. Um, just switch it to um, shaded and you should be good to go. And then when you're finished and say you want to reset everything, just go to your home tab and then your button may look different. It may be a little bit bigger, but click on this reset all. You can drop that down and you can do appearance. And as you saw, there's some other options for uh, transform transforms as well and that's just if you're moving elements around or scaling them um, so yeah just jump you know there reset it and you're good to go and you can start applying different colors to those elements so hopefully this tip helps you out let me know if you have any questions uh, and thanks a lot I'll see you in the next one